Yo, what to do is rap a console media. Hey, let everybody know who you rocking with. You rocking with Splat from South Sat. And you got a name, you know, official underscore underscore name. Alright, so talk about how it was growing up in y'all city, uh, and also how how's it feel to see the success that the Sacramento music scene has been getting? Uh, growing up, it was it was it was it was cool, but like you know, never had a lot of bullshit going on and shit and everything. You know, like you just gonna be surrounded with that shit anywhere you go around Sacramento for real. But um, I just I just tried to go on a different path and shit. You know, just try my best to stay out that negative mm -hmm. shit and everything, and just be me and focus on who I wanted to be. And um, as far as the music, like. It's good to see a lot of people getting noticed from Sacramento. Like, you know, because at first, like, you know, we were just getting skipped over, skipped over. Like, you know, wasn't nobody paying attention to us. And we just compared to the Bay a lot. Or, you know, we wanted to act like the Bay, be like the Bay. But I'm glad we're getting our own section now. Basically, we got our own lane now. People noticing us as a single. All right. So did y'all ever play sports growing up? Yeah. Uh, I only played basketball, really. Uh I played for a school team only one time, but I really was mostly in the front yard with it and shit. Like, you know, I ain't really, really was out there with it like that. Our parents really didn't have time, you know, a lot of, like, for practice and shit like that. Like, so, I ain't a lot of skateboarding. I was out there skateboarding. Oh, cool, cool. That's what I was on. I was hooping, and then I fractured my knee in seventh grade, so really only played on a high school team. That was really about it. Oh, cool, cool. So, when y'all start making music? Shit. I, I started making music, like, around... Like, I always fucked with music and shit, but, like, I really started making music. I think I was, like, like 19 or something. I got a job at Burger King. And then uh, after my first check, I just went and got all the equipment and shit that I needed from uh, from Guitar Center. Just went home and just YouTube how to work that shit, and I just started making music and shit. I say I was running, like, 15, 16. And then he had got me my first full studio equipment set. I did some work around the house for it and everything. And then got my first set, and ever since, been in the garage making music then. Uh, so are y'all related? Yeah, blood yeah, brothers. Blood brothers, <laughs> oh, yeah, just had an episode with everybody. Um, what was y'all musical influences growing up? Uh, I I used to listen to Wale a lot. Like that was one of my uh, favorite artists growing up. Wale. Uh, I listened to Kanye West. Like I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Kanye West all the way up until the Eight Ways of Heartbreak shit. Every <laughs> <laughs> everything before that, I fuck with. <laughs> See, for me, it was more like. I say like from Wayne to Cole, and then my variety yeah, Wayne, is so Wayne, different. Wayne is it's all like one. <laughs> it's like man, even some raw. I could listen to some raw wave, and even like when Twenty One was popping for a minute, you slept Twenty One Savage. Like when he had that Facetime album, <laughs> it's an album. Back, back. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so what's all the rap names that y'all ever had before? Uh, no lie, <laughs> Splat the only one I had. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I had, yeah. like, I say, I think Brezzo Mimo was my first one. I had created the word Brezzo, like, just out of nowhere. And then somebody had copied me, and they was like, Brezo or something like that. So, and then I changed my shit to NF Nemo. The NF stuff for no fucks, because I don't give no fucks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then it just became me. Like, just be simple. <laughs> G shit. Okay. So, hey, uh, tell us about Sack G and uh, why y'all choose to have that as y'all go to studio. Um, Sack G. Uh, somebody else had actually had told me about him when I was uh, getting the recording. Cause I used to record at uh, what City Sound. We yeah, were at City Sound recording that first, and then um, I was just looking for like you know like uh, you know uh, just more uh, outlets to go to, and then somebody put us on the Sag G. And after that first session with Sag G, it was just like an automatic vibe and shit. Like you know like it was just automatic. Like you know our sounds and like you know he was able to do what we needed. And then, you know, it was just like, it's just collaboration was good. <laughs> yeah, he just got a different vibe. Like, yeah, we locked in. We just work, we, our work process is all the same lined up. Like, you know, I feel like it's hard to find engineers nowadays that really work the same as artists. Like, yeah, we got the same go. And, like, you know, he worked as fast as us because, like, we go in the studio and we write songs, like, right there on the spot. Like, some of these songs we got, like, we literally go in there. Just jot down right in like 10 minutes or so. We're never prepared when we go to the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We be waking up, like, <laughs> rushing to the studio, be like, damn, I ain't even write shit. I said I was going to write something, but we don't ever write till we at the studio to jot it down right there. And Sag G, he just be on point with, like, you know, we be uh, having a competition to see how fast we get the song done sometimes. <laughs> and, like, you know, still keep it at the quality that it is and everything. And, you know, his mixing and mastering so we can just make get more at one time. Oh, yeah. And uh, we getting ready for a 24 hour uh, session, a studio session uh, for the mixtape 24 hours at Sag G's. 
All right, so Neem, tell us about Big Clocking, and do you still edit your own videos? Well, Big Clocking was one of the first videos I had edited, and yeah, I've been really trying to mess around with some edits, and really something I really want to actually do besides making music is actually start editing videos, because that shit really be low-key fun, so. Okay, okay. That's live. Hey, so, so y'all talk about uh, doing Hansel and Gretel. How did that one come about? <laughs> that was like one of the first beats my um, producer, Mike DC, had sent me, I think. I want to say, yeah, it was one of the first ones. And then bro had me saying he wanted to do Detroit beat because, you know, we've been fucking around with different styles and shit. And you know, we made him so red one. That's how that one came about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna, I don't even remember that one too much. We just went in there and knocked that one out. <laughs> okay. So, hey, tell me uh, what's y'all thoughts on, like, so many rappers dying in 2021? That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit you know, like, crazy. that shit crazy. Like, it make you be like, that's why I stay away from all that extra shit. Cause it's like I want to separate myself from now. I ain't even trying to be a part. Like you know, that's just more of a uh, 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 more of a possible outcome if you win that route and shit. Then you know, <coughs> staying to yourself and doing what you doing and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot of people dying out here, <coughs> especially shit, rappers. Safe. <laughs> and then like I don't know. That's why I feel like most rappers just gotta like move different. Like you gotta really watch how you move. If you can see people like Nipsey out here, you know, getting killed, you, anybody basically life will really. You just gotta watch how you move, really, and be safe and be legal with everything you do. And everybody around you ain't your homie, for real. That's for real. <laughs> Just facts. Sure. Like, since day one, your day ones ain't your day ones. <laughs> All right, so uh, tell us about y'all brand, uh, Sack. Uh, Sack, Surrounded Around Clouds. Uh, I came up with that name when I was like uh, 18, 19, when I was really like, you know, in the uh, weed and shit and everything, you know, selling and shit. I went to, uh, that was when we started becoming legal and shit too, so like, that was like the name I came up with. The brand, like, you know, I kind of uh, stuck with. I like the name and everything. So, but now I'm just now getting to really brand it how I want to. And, like, you know, it's going to make us, you know, outbreak in 2022 and actually, like, really push it to make uh, businesses and shit. Okay. All right. Hey, so shit. Splat, I know, like, you be having chains and shit. What's your favorite chain? Uh, My favorite chain is the white gold with the. Uh, White gold with the yellow gold. <laughs> that's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite one. <laughs> okay, okay. Do y'all plan on uh, doing a collab mixtape together? Hell yeah. Yeah, off tops. I got a name for it. Uh, yeah. Nah, yeah, we don't even got a name for it. Guys. <laughs> we got so many songs. Kind of, we got like... so many songs together. That we, it, it's, you know, we got to do, do a tape together. But we might drop all the first ones that we did single because we make new music like it's nothing. So we might just go in and just do a whole tape together like right there. Yeah. And then we got the we do got a tape coming up twenty four hours at Sack G's. That's gonna be me and him together, like in collaboration with Sack G. Yeah. Y'all gonna do a vlog for that and everything? I might just have to. Yeah, we, we might have to. Do iPhone, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do a couple <laughs> studio yeah, music videos. We got a camera too and everything, so we might have to just we just need a camera person, really. For sure, for sure. I right, uh, what's y'all favorite music video that y'all have dropped? And do y'all have a favorite videographer that y'all uh, like working with or? We ain't work. We shot our own videos. So y'all shoot all y'all videos. Yeah, yeah. We even got like probably two or three that ain't even dropped out. We just shot ourselves and yeah. been messing around with edits like that we haven't even dropped yet. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's hella dope. That's hella dope. Um, I do got a video coming up with these two shoots though soon. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be doing some work with them actually. Um, what's y'all favorite performance that y'all had? L.A. Yeah. LA. <laughs> The Kobe, Kobe, Kobe day. Yeah, it was Kobe, Kobe day, LA. Festival, LA. That Vibes. shit was lit. I done met nothing but people I messed with since then. Yeah, it was a lot of network and everything. A lot of support, too. A lot of there support. was a lot of support. LA support different. Like, they really opened to any variety, anybody. Like, so many different variety of vibes was in there. And everybody was just supportive no matter what. Like, niggas we met right there was cooling with us in front of the stage, turning us up. Yeah, you know. So yeah, we start. Yeah, it was a vibe, for real, for real. Shout out my and little packed. Sam, too. That's what <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from out here. Show. All right, so do y'all feel like y'all get the credit uh, for the work y'all put in so far? Uh, no, and that's only because we ain't really put out too much. Uh, we ain't, we haven't put too much stuff out, but I mean the stuff that we have came out with, like you know, like they, you know, people like fuck with it, like show us a lot of support. So like the little bit of stuff that we have shown, like you know, but positive feedback. I feel like you're really only responsible for your own credit that you receive. Like you know, if you yeah. feel like you're not getting enough credit, then it's probably you're not going hard enough. You gotta do the work. You gotta do the work yourself. For real, for real. What's the biggest lesson 2021 taught y'all? 
stay shit, out the stay way. Out the way. <laughs> you do you, shit, get on your shit, fuck everything else going on. You can't you can't get to the next level worrying about everybody else, what they got, why they got it, why you ain't got it. Like, you know, just focus on yourself, get your back the way you get it, your time will come. And being from Sacramento especially, like, you definitely got to stay out the way. Like, people dying every day, somebody getting shot every day, so you got to just stay out the way. All right, so what's y'all plans for 2022? Is there any other uh, thing y'all trying to accomplish? Is there anything y'all trying to change? Uh, 2022 is just focusing on more being productive, on dropping music, putting more music out, doing videos, basically just going all in with the work we did for 2021. Basically, we're just trying to push it in 2022, but that's my uh, goal for me. I want to be like one of the most versatile artists. I want to be able to make music and then also want to be able to shoot videos and edit them like really one of the best upcoming video editors and out of sack by next year and then also just handle everything legally and get that out the way for real you know i feel it so all right y'all got any last shout outs y'all want to give uh shout out to sack g that's the first shout out sack g definitely sack g um shout out to homie cardo cardo king he dope too i fuck with him that's one of the homies he dope and I don't really, I don't really fuck with too much more people. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, you feel me? Shout out my nigga Bands, all my LPG people. Shout out my nigga JR Bowman. You know, we wouldn't have been doing this without him. The whole rap Picasso, you know, and all that. Right. Really, that's it. And shout out our producers, uh, yeah. Scout, and Mikey Scout, C. Ma- Scout, and Mikey C. Yeah, two of the dopest producers. <laughs> they ain't even from out here, but the link is dope. <laughs> <laughs> all right, for sure, for sure. Hey, well, y'all heard it first from Neiman uh, Splat, man. It's Rap Picasso Media. Let's get it.